today I'm gonna to show you how to customize your terminal. Some of you may have noticed that my terminal looks a little bit different to yours. I've got some customizations going on. I'm gonna show you how to make use of them yourself. First of all, the terminal I use is called iTerm2 and you can get it from iTerm2.com. You just click this download link and it's ready to go. Okay, yeah, but what's the difference between this one and the terminal on macOS? Well, on macOS, you can still do the same customizations I'm gonna show you today, but I just like using iTerm2 because of its extra feature set that it has over the top of the terminal one built into macOS. So the first thing you want to install is called PowerLevel 10K. Now this is the successor to PowerLevel 9K and that was pretty good on its own, but this has a couple of extra features built into it. As you can see here in this little screenshot, there is a whole load of customizations you can do. You've just got the standard lean style at the top here. Uh, my preference is these more blocky ones. And I just love these little icons that indicate that you're in a Git managed folder. How fun. Anyway, installation is pretty simple. Uh, there's a few different ways to go about doing it. I installed mine through Homebrew uh, and this is it here. So we can copy that. So the next thing you might wanna do is download these fonts to get all those symbols showing up. And then after that, you wanna configure it. It comes with a configuration wizard, which makes the process incredibly easy. So it is P10K configure. So first off, this is going to test whether you have the fonts installed correctly. And if you do not, this will not work. So I'm just gonna say yes, cause I can see the diamond. And the next one, there is a lock. Yes, I can see that. I can see that symbol. Great. And now we get to pick our prompt style. So I really like the classic style. So I'm just going to go with that. Uh, I do like the Unicode because we've got those arrows on there and I really like the darkest one. Do I want to show the current time? This is personal preference. I don't really like it. I'm going to go with sparse. Now I love how you can customize this. Enable transient prompt. So what this means is that you only get a single line that has this uh, styling and then the rest of the lines, the previous ones you've typed out, are styled differently. Uh, I prefer the second option because if you've got a gigantic wall of text, these can get lost in there. Okay, so this one is called Instant Prompt. You know, sometimes when you open up your terminal, it takes a little while for things to get going. This solves that. Some other things I have installed include code completion, syntax highlighting. There are so many plugins you can add to your terminal to get it exactly how you like it. Thanks for watching.